people on Staten Island who feel that it's insensitive to hold the marathon and wonder how it can be said that no resources are being diverted to it. How many city employees are working to support the marathon? Well, most of, for example, the police department uh, right now has to be at all of the intersections where there's no lights. The lights are going to be back on tonight. Um, mass transit solves a lot of other problems where the police provide those. Uh, uh, traffic control resources. Uh, it, it does use some resources, but it doesn't use resources that can really make a difference in recovery and that sort of thing. It's a different group of people. It's a relatively small amount of the sanitation department's uh, resources to do it. And we have to have a city going forward. Uh, I don't think there's any question, but we have, uh, there are New Yorkers who've lost uh, loved ones and, and nothing's going to ever replace that. Uh, people have lost their homes. We have to make sure that uh, we do everything we can to help them recover. Uh, we have to work around the clock for people to get through this thing, and I assure you we're doing that. And if I thought it took any resources away from that, uh, we, would, uh, we would not do this. But we have plenty of police officers that work in areas that aren't affected. We don't take all of them and move them into areas that are affected. There will be no diversion of resources. Um, there will be no uh, redistribution of our efforts, uh, no dimin diminution of our efforts. Uh, we have a 24-7 operation going which I'm confident we're going to do. Uh, we have to do everything we can to help people. And when power returns over the next day in the mass transit, more people are able to go to their homes. That's going to make a big difference. But uh, as Rudy Giuliani said to me this morning, he said, you know, right after 9-11, people said exactly the same thing. New York has to show that we are here and that we are going to recover and that we can, while we help people, still help companies that need the business still generate a tax base so that we have the resources to help people and uh, give people uh, something to cheer about and what's been a very dismal week for a lot of people. And uh, he's, he reminded me also there was a, a demand from people that we close, uh, cancel the New Year's Eve celebration because of a snowstorm. Uh, I think Rudy had it right. You have to keep going and doing things, and you can grieve, you can cry, and you can laugh all at the same time. And that's what human beings are good at. Yes, sir.